I know how fucked up this world is, Badger, in ways that you would probably never experience. So I know what the traps are. I know what the setups are. That's why I go so hard on your ass. That's why I go so hard preparing you, training your ass. Not that you can avoid the shit that's going to happen in the world, but that you can be prepared to fight that shit. May that be physical or may it be emotional. But it's going to come, son. Life is going to come to whoop your ass. And if you ain't mentally and physically prepared, you're going to fold like a chair. I never have intentions on protecting or saving you to the point where you don't go through shit in life. Hell no. <clears throat> that ain't no man. Men go through shit, but men get through shit. And we get through it with honor, integrity. That's all my training is with you. Preparing you for the world, preparing you for the obstacles and the challenges that I know that's gonna come at you often. And it's only been my hope from day one that with all the preparation, the mental stimulation, that when you meet these challenges, that my son will make the right choices. That my son won't be a little punk bitch follower. That's not what I want for my son. That you make the right choices. Yes, in life you're gonna make some bad choices, Badger. We both know that. Some things out there that if you make those choices, it can be damn near costly to recover from. That's my that's what I don't want to happen. I don't want to hear about my son out in a fucking stolen car. I get a phone call, oh yeah, you in the car, a couple of your partners, whatever move, they get in the car. And, oh yeah, we about to go shoot over to the, to the park or whatever You go jump in the car Alright, I mean, I guess I get that Especially if they got their license Next thing you know, in the car ride You find out, yeah, man, this shit's stolen Man, if you don't punch that nigga in the back of the man, You better pull this bitch over Get me the fuck up I, 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 I'll, I'll walk to where the fuck I gotta go I, I, call my da I call my dad I Get me the fuck out See, that's the level of Alpha male mentality I need from you not, yo, hurry up and get us this so I can get out. What, well, Nick? My boy, from the time that you said that to the time that you get that, in between that, that's where the shit can go down at. All right, y'all. And, and then after you get out, catch your homie on the flip side and tighten his ass up for even putting me in some, some fucking goofy ass situation like that. You know what I'm about, homeboy. You know what I'm about. Why you put me in that situation? See, you gotta come in niggas like that, Badger. We done had this talk before. Oh, you going in the bathroom, you going to take a piss, you roll up in there, three of your fucking teammates is in there fucking smoking. Now, I don't raise you to be no Karen now. I don't raise you to be no, no buster. But I, you gotta get out that bathroom, son. You, you gotta go, bro. You can't, you can't even go in the fucking stall to take the piss. Why? Because what, what happens now? What happens now? How does the universe work? What happens? Tell me. You're goddamn right. That's how the universe works. You in the star pissing. Next thing you know, goddamn principal, sister principal, teacher, security guard, maintenance worker, cafeteria. Somebody come up in there. Boom. They, they, they lumping your ass in that shit. And they and there's football players in there too? Oh, nah. So now you put the situation. You going to tell on them now? You going to hey, I'm not with them. They was doing it. Well, I don't really raise you to be that way. Do you expect them to be honorable and stand up youngsters and say damn we caught hey hey but mr 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 so-and-so mr badger he 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 wasn't here with us like he just came you expect them to do that hell no niggas ain't solid like that no more they're gonna let you take the fall right along with their goofy ass so now you stuck with a situation and you put in a position where it's like do I tell? Do I not tell? Like, man, we don't want to be in none of that shit. You walk in and you you spot them niggas. What I would expect you to do as a, as a teammate and as a, because I raised you as a general, a young, hey, have a quick word with them niggas. Hey, hey, y'all bugging in here, yo. Y'all better put that shit. I don't want you being there fighting them niggas over that. That's their choice. But if they your teammates and they're your homies and shit like that, hey, y'all tripping, bro. 
Y'all better put that shit out, man. I don't know what the hell, what's on y'all mind or what y'all bugging. You might encourage them to chill, but don't stay in there is what I'm saying. These are the examples that I, I give you all the time. All of the mock interviews, mock situations we go through, I do that because I know they're coming. And experience is the best teacher. However, being prepared for that can, 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 can put you over the hump. So that when you get put in that situation, it's not so foreign to you. You know, no, you've never been through it, but big game tomorrow. But did you actually play the game yet? But you can play the game up here. So in these situations, I'm trying to help you play the game before you play the game. You are 12, you're gonna be 13 soon. More and more shit gonna come your way, Badger. And I'm telling you now, bro, do not let the hard work, the dedication, the discipline that I have injected into you, do not let my shit go to waste. Do not let my shit go to waste. I don't expect you to be perfect in this world, but I don't expect you to be no buster. I don't expect you to be no follower. Badger, you want to smoke? You want to smoke some weed? You want to smoke weed? I'd rather, no, I'd rather you come and tell me that shit. Don't mean we're going to do it, but I'd rather you come and say that. I don't know what the hell going on, but I got some, I, I, I want to see what, and then I'm going I'm to deal with you from that point. You want, no, I'm asking, you want to drink? You want a shot of some Henny? You, you, you want a shot of some Henny? I'd rather you come talk to me about that 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 urge then to, to, to do that with these goofy ass little boys bad you want some pussy you ready to fuck you ready to get your you're 12 years old bro you want to get your little dicks up that's what you want you want some pussy you want to get some ass you ready to you 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 so ready to know what that feel like all right because when that time come you better fucking come talk to me you better come holler me oh dad i don't i don't know man but shit what's up and, 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 and from there we'll talk about we'll talk we'll talk about it we will talk about it but please don't fucking do that shit I don't want to say that because I understand as little boys that we all been there, Badger. When I was your age, 12 and 13, I was into that shit. But at the same time, I wasn't being taught not to be in it. When I was growing up your age, nigga, like you didn't want to not be with no chicks. You didn't want to not be putting your hand down their damn pants. We did all, we all did that shit in class at that. But we was young, dumb and stupid with no leadership, no guidance. All that shit was encouraged to be to keep it a buck with you. That shit was encouraged. That ain't your reality, homie. You've been taught and trained from day one. You ain't you can't do none of that now. Ain't no time for that shit. You're gonna have all the time in the world to experience a woman and a female and to know what that shit tastes like. And trust me, it's a great feeling. But your time will come. Your time will come. You have to be disciplined to not move too fast, son. That's where your discipline kick in at. You may, next year when you turn 13, you may decide like, man, I wanna fuck, bro. I, I, wanna, I wanna know what it's like. Do you think that I'm gonna then say, okay, go do it just because you wanna do it? Hell no. We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. But don't, don't ever go behind my fucking back, bro and cross me like that. Knowing how much you mean to me and how much I impart in you to protect you from the shit that go on in this world. I'm not one of them dads that's just gonna 
go for the ride if you just choose to. I'm not, I'm not one of them dads, bro. You make a fucked up choice out here that's detrimental to your livelihood. You make a real bad choice out here that's detrimental to this family. I'm going to deal with your ass accordingly, homie. You want to be fucking... And, I, and, I, and you've, not, you've never done nothing like this. But I, that's why I constantly reiterate and have this talk with you. So that it, it is never a, a distant thought. I want it always to be the, on the front of your mind. I always want these thoughts to be on the front of your mind. I got to make good choices. I, my dad has been through the worst shit in the world because of bad choices. <clears throat> you ain't no special. You ain't no different, Badger. Life will handle your ass the same way it handled me or anybody else that make bad choices.